In this video, we have two integrals to evaluate. The first one actually generates a formula that your instructor might uh, let you use if you, if you know it. In this video, we're going to derive it, and then we're going to apply that formula we get in problem one to solve the integral or evaluate the integral in problem two. And in problem one, we're going to use a trig substitution. So here we have the table for integrals involving the radical a squared minus u squared. Here's a substitution. u will equal to a sine of theta. And we do that because using basic identities, I plug in this into this u squared here. It simplifies to a cosine theta. Now, in our case, we have the square root of a squared plus u squared. And that takes this form, u equal to a tangent of theta. Plug it in here, it comes out to a secant theta. Now, if you look at our, and then we have the one for three, the square root of u squared minus a squared, the substitution is u equal to a secant theta. Again, using trig identities and plug it in the value of u into the radical here, u, squ u squared, simplifies to a tangent theta. And you might say, well, we don't have a radical here, but we have the format a squared plus u squared. So it doesn't matter, we don't have the radical here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add u equal, based on the table we just looked at, u equal to tangent of theta, and then we'll have the a here in front. So this will be the same thing as saying that tangent of theta will equal to u over a. And in some cases, we might need a right triangle here using this information, depending on the complexity of the problem. This will be u here, theta will be here, and this will be a. So the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Gives me this tangent theta equal to u over a. And then we can take du, this right here, du will equal to a. And again, a here is a constant. u will be a function of x. So this could actually be like x squared, or it could be, say, 2x squared and the u would be the 2x. So normally u will be a function of x. Derivative of tangent is secant squared theta d theta. And notice if I plug in the value of u into this expression here in the denominator, this will be a squared plus, and then the u is a tangent squared, or I should say a tangent of theta. And then this will be squared. So this, is a, this will actually be a squared tangent squared theta. So let's take out the a squared out of there. This will give me a one here. Factor out the a squared. And then from this, a squared factored out. And this will be tangent squared of theta. And one of your trig identities, one plus tangent squared theta, that's just secant squared. So I can rewrite this as a squared secant squared theta. So getting back to the integral here then, let's make the substitution here. du in the numerator would be the same thing as a secant squared theta d theta. And the denominator a squared plus u squared, that's the same thing as a squared secant squared theta. And notice here the secant squared theta, secant squared theta cancel. And here I have an a and an a squared, so this becomes a 1 when I cancel it out. So this just gives me then 1 over a. I'm going to take that outside the integral here. And then this will be the integral where we have left just d theta. So you can think of this as 1 d theta. The integral of 1 d theta with respect to theta is theta. If this was an x, then this would be an x over here. And this is plus your constant of integration. Now we have to go over here, and in this case we don't need the triangle here, we, we just need uh, theta. So tangent of theta is equal to u over a, so taking the inverse tangent of both sides, I get that theta is equal to, I can write it as arctangent of u over a, or I could use tangent inverse. It would be this type of notation. So the answer then that we could give here is 1 over a arctangent of u over a, plus the constant of integration. So this tells me then that if I have an integral 
in this form here. If it has this form right here, integral of du over a squared plus u squared, that could always be given by this formula, 1 over a hog tangent of u over a plus constant of integration. So let's rewrite it over here. So again, if I have anything of the form, the integral of du over a squared plus u squared, and this could have a radical here. It'll work with a radical. A little bit more complex maybe, but you can do it. This is the formula. So that's the value of the first integral. Now we want to use this formula to evaluate this integral at number two. So we want to write this in this same form here. So let's do it this way. Standard u substitution here is not going to work because the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. We have an x up here. So let's write it this way. I can rewrite this as x squared squared. X, x squared quantity squared is the same thing as x to the fourth. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use, start off with a u substitution first, standard u substitution, and say, let u equal to x squared. Then du would equal the, the derivative of x squared is 2x dx. And let's divide both sides by 2. I get du over 2. The two cancels on the right side got x dx. So let's go back then. Replace the x dx. So I could divide everything by here by 2x, but I'm going to just do this one. Say this x dx, this part right here, can be given by du over 2. So du over 2. And the 2 will be in front, but it divides the 8, which will give me a 4. So I'll put the 4 out in front here. So again, replacing the x dx by du over 2. 2 and 2a will go 4. So I'll put the 4 outside. And then this will be du left over. And then what I have in the bottom, I have a 4 plus, and then the x squared here, that's the u. So this will be u, and then that's squared. So this is a 4 plus u squared denominator. But now if you look at the formula here, that's in that form. The a squared in the formula, that's your 4. I can write the 4 as 2 squared, because it's in this form. So let me just say then from the formula then, this is going to be 4. Let's look at this formula. It's 1 over a. The 4 is there is a constant, okay? And it multiplies. The 1 over a, a in our case is 2, because 4 is 2 squared. So this will be 1 over 2. And then it's arc tangent of u over a. Now in our case, u is x squared. So this is going to be x squared here over a. In our case, a is 2. And then it's plus the constant of integration. And of course, we can go ahead and multiply here by 4. Give me a coefficient of 2. And this would give me the final answer. I could have just worked problem number 2 the way it is and use a standard u substitution. And then from there, I go to a trig substitution. I would still get the answer. But I chose to derive this formula here and then apply it to problem 2 after setting up a standard u substitution in order to get the uh, formula that I just derived. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.